A very good evening and welcome to this Sunday's edition of Weekend Prime Time News. I'm Arundhati Mudan Naika. Supporters of ousted Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi have defied threats of removal from their sit-in protests in Cairo despite deaths of dozens in clash with security forces. Well, the News First International Desk will have more details on this story later on in the news. But before that, here's a look at the stories making headlines this evening. Diamas are not included in the UPF nomination list for the Northern Provincial Polls. Fast in Ratu Paswal, Labiagama demanding a solution to the drinking water problem. Students in the Kenya and Muthur zones given the previous year's examination paper. And now the story is in detail. A group of villagers and Buddhist monks commenced a hunger strike at the Ratu Paswala public sports grounds today demanding a solution to the drinking water problems being faced by a number of villagers in Gampaha. The protesters charged that authorities who were supposed to participate in a discussion regarding the problem today failed to turn up. People of Ratu Paswala, Maharagama, Kura Mulla, Urwala, Nadungamua and Sura Mulla convened yesterday and today as well with the intention of discussing with officials a drinking water crisis in the area that has affected about 5,000 families. <laughs> Someone should come here by 12 and give us proper answers. Subsequently, the DIG of Western Province North, LG Kularatna, arrived at the location. We received the analyst report. The pH index of five samples are very low. The factory has told the courts that the pH index in the well water far from here is also low. We are investigating that. The courts will decide whether the factory will be shut down or not. The political authority said that they will come here. Did they? A discussion will take place tomorrow evening at the Gampaha Kacheri. <laughs> However, this afternoon the locals decided to commence a fast. We will not leave. We will fast until we receive an answer. The locals charge that they are unable to use the well water in the area due to the waste disposed from a private factory in the Nadungamo area, Gampaha. The chairman of the Gampaha Pradesh Sabha, Ranjit Gunavardhana, who arrived at the location, made this promise to the locals. A meeting will take place under the patronage of Minister Susil Pema Jayanta and a decision will be taken regarding this factory. When we contacted the chairman of the Gampa Pratishi Sabha this evening, he said that the meeting was postponed to tomorrow evening. No one from the political authority arrived here. Speaking to news, first the secretary to the Ministry of Environment said that a meeting will take place at 2 p.m. tomorrow at the Gampa District Secretariat and will be attended by the locals, Minister Susil Prema Jayanta, the Gampa District Secretary, the Board of Investment, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board and the Central Environment Authority. He added that the officers from the Central Environmental Authority obtained soil and water samples from the area today. Residents of Colombo North have been civilly inconvenienced as all the pumps at the Biswike Water Centre have broken down. This centre is located in the Modera area in Colombo North. Incidentally, the unit is over 50 years old. After the waste collected here is purified, it is sent towards another unit known as the Junction Box. Subsequently, the waste is channelled to the sea. However, area residents say that as the pumps at the Wiswick Center have not been functioning for close to two years, the system is not functioning as it should. Yeah. <laughs> 
All three pumps are broken. One pump was fixed about a month ago, but this is not enough. It is not working now. Sometimes we see people being fined when water has retained in a coconut shell and there are dengue mosquito larvae. But this is what is happening here. All of the waste water that comes to the pump is now being channeled through the drains. The waste is overflowing. It stinks. Big big ministers and parliamentarians pass by here. They travel in their cars with the air conditioning. This is harmful to public health. There are small children here and we must cook in our kitchens. Our cameras also captured footage today of how sewage brought here in Bowser's is dumped into gullies around the centre. When news first made inquiries from the Director of Engineering at the Drainage and Water Supply Units of the Kalama Municipal Council, M.I. and Salim, he said that renovation work on the centre has already commenced. He added that a new centre will be established here within about a year's time. Persisting issues surrounding fishermen from Sri Lanka and India have caused numerous problems for fishermen from both countries. Fishermen in Sri Lanka charge that Indian fishermen while at the maritime boundary and poach in Sri Lankan waters. Well, details of this story coming up later on in the news. Issue of maritime boundary violations by Indian and Sri Lankan fishermen. Sri Lankan fishermen charge that they are being harassed by Indian fishermen. Indian fishermen charge that they are being harassed by Sri Lankan fishermen. 21 Indian fishermen who violated the maritime boundary arrested. Fishermen in Kalpitiya charge that their equipment and nets were damaged by Indian fishermen. Yesterday, Indian fishermen poached in Sri Lankan waters off the coast of Putlam. Wouldn't it be timely to implement a system that ensures that these fishermen can ply their trade without violating maritime boundaries? The Sri Lanka Navy says that its vessels at sea have been instructed to carry out search operations for a vessel that recently went missing off the coast of Thalemana. Navy media spokesperson Commander Kosala Valnakura Surya said that Navy guard boats in the area have been informed of the missing vessel. The police media unit says that an entry had been made with the police that the boat carrying two fishermen had gone missing the day before yesterday. The missing fishermen have been identified as 25-year-old Duran Apuhami and 26-year-old Kamaldin Samin, both residents of the Pasale area. On tonight's Words of Wisdom segment, we take a look at some famous words on culture that was spoken by the father of India, Mohandas Khanchand, Mahatma Gandhi. I want the cultures of all the lands to be blown about my house as freely as possible, but I refuse to be blown off my feet by any. Mahatma Gandhi Dire Master not included in the UPFA nomination list for the Northern Provincial Polls. Fasted Ratapasala Biagama demanding a solution to the drinking water problem. And a robber steals $53 million worth of jewels in cans. Those are the stories, top stories we are following here on News First. The news continues after this short commercial break. Reports have emerged that the name of the of Vela Yudham Dayanidhi alias Daya Master, the former spokesperson and propaganda wing leader of the LTT, has not been included in the UPFA nomination list for the upcoming polls. Chief organizer of the UPFA for the Jaffna district, Angajan Ramanathan, said that the seven persons contesting the polls from the UPFA signed the nomination list today. The official Tamil website of the Government Information Department reports that the name of Daya Master was not included in the UPFA nomination list. Convening a media briefing recently, Vela Yudham Dayanadi, alias Daya Master, said that he will contest the Northern Provincial Polls. 
I will contest the Northern Provincial Council polls under the SLFP ticket. I am contesting from the SLFP to work with the government for the welfare of the people who were affected by the war and the well-being of combatants who have been imprisoned and the development of the Northern Province. John Lee's question Cabinet Spokesperson Minister Kehle Rambukwala in this regard today. The stance of the government is clearly communicated to nomination boards. The decision would be the final decision of the party. The nomination board considers the suitable and unsuitable candidates. However, when all are suitable, we have to decide on a limited number. We select the best according to their various qualifications. Sometimes the most qualified would be removed.